Half of all your stitches come from the bobbin. In this video, we'll show you a few simple things that will save you from bobbin-related problems. Before winding a bobbin, make sure it's smooth without cracks or rough places. Janome makes a type of plastic bobbin marked with a J. The plastic in these bobbins has a rubber component making them quieter and smoother running. Only genuine Janome bobbins, part number 102-261-103, have this makeup. When winding a bobbin, this procedure will help you avoid having the thread slip down under the bobbin, making a potential problem that takes valuable sewing time to clean up. Snap the thread into the first thread guide. You'll hear a click. Pull the thread towards the front of the machine. You'll hear it snap under the tension spring. Pull the thread towards the back of the machine and to the right following the bobbin threading guide. Thread the end of the thread from the inside of a bobbin to the outside through one of the holes in either side of the bobbin. Pass the free end of the thread, the tail down, through the large center hole in the bobbin. Place on the bobbin winding spindle. Slide the free end of the thread through one of the slotted areas at the base of the bobbin winder. Cut the thread with a slight tug. Pull the thread from the spool to tighten and remove any slack in the thread from the thread guides to the bobbin. Extra slack can cause the thread to wind under the bobbin while winding. Make sure that nothing in the top of the machine, such as feet or accessories, can touch the thread while winding. Also ensure that you have the correct size of cap covering the end of the spool. When the bobbin is full, remove it and cut off the thread from the spool. Slide your finger over the top of the bobbin to pull the tail to the top. Cut the tail even with the top of the bobbin. This is very important, as leaving short tails on the edge can lead to very big problems. This method can be used with all threads. It works especially well with thin threads, such as bobbin or embroidery threads. We've found threads that are not consistent thickness or threads that are tightly wound with a springy memory tend to loop back on themselves. These loops allow the thread to be pulled into the eye of the take-up lever, which causes them to come completely out of it. This is very annoying and potentially damaging to your machine. This method of threading the machine can be very helpful in preventing the problem. Before threading the machine, press the needle up and down twice. This will ensure that the needle is in the highest position. Engage the lock. This opens the tension discs and lowers the feed dogs and the presser foot. After pulling the thread from the top to the bottom through the first thread guide, pull the thread up on the left side of the take-up lever. Pull the thread over the top from the left to the right and snap it into the take-up lever. This crosses the thread in the take-up lever and keeps problem thread from popping out. Finish threading.